the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Are you the one looking for a job? You say yes. He says, have I attended to you? The moment that happens, just know you have obtained the capital that buys influence. The capital that buys money. Listen, the proof that favor is on you is not money. The proof that favor is on you is the loyalty of men. When I came in, I appreciate all of you for loving me so much. For many of you have not seen you. But what made you love me that much? This is what I want to come upon you. Amen. Apostle, is because of the location of my business. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. He climbed the mountain and a crowd came. He went by the riverside and the crowd came. Please hear me because things will shift in your business. Things will shift in your life. Shift in your ministry. Favor. Favor. Parus Favor is a real grace. Listen, I took one month of my life to pray for favor. I have not done you justice by teaching you all the principles that make for favor, but there are. But I will just tell you one as we wrap up. It's called the Esther anointing. Hmm. Esther chapter 2 again. Please give us verse 15. Now, please listen to me. We're about to pray. Something must come upon you. There is a call because Vashti is thrown from the throne and that call gets to Shushan and they gather young virgins, prospective brides for the king. And here comes this village girl from somewhere in South Africa called Hadassah and she's trying her chance. Mordecai encourages her. Watch this. And then the Bible says, that now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go to see the king. Watch this. She required nothing but what Haggai, who was playing the role of the Holy Spirit, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women appointed. The Bible says, when you read the preceding verses, it says that, he gave her oil. Go to 16. Oh dear. I think it was uh, maybe the 14 or so. There was an ointment that she rubbed for one year to see the king. Other women were learning how to walk. Wonderful. Learning how to talk. Wonderful. But hey guy said, I know the king. The spirit. No man knows the things of a man except the spirit of that man. Hey guys said, I have walked with the king. I know what he wants. Let me give you a kind of oil that you will keep rubbing for one year. When one year is done, go to the king. Thou anointest my head with oil. Hold on. But I know what is on my head by looking at my cup. He does not anoint my cup. My cup is a report card showing what is on my head. Thou anointed my head with oil. My ministry run it over. 
thou anointed my head with oil my business run it over listen to me what is on you is what controls what is around you it is true it is true you can know what has come upon you by looking at the new experiences that are introduced into your space favor is powerful it is the number one reason we succeed in life you can have all the products and because we didn't have time to deal up on value and other things hopefully we may touch a bit on it as we wrap up tomorrow but let me tell you this I'm looking for what is applicable to everyone something you can go out with tonight and say I came to church without it but now I am returning with it that in one week by Sunday next week you return back to church on your knees and say what is this what is this hallelujah listen now listen I don't mean to brag but I can tell you my life is an unending wonder of what people do for me people have seen my account number in their dreams and have been instructed to continue to bless me for the rest of my life I don't know them people have called me and said the Lord instructed us to make you a non-executive board member in our business your spiritual value is all we want just give us your account number I said what is the meaning of this I apologize if it looks like I'm bragging forgive me my table is full of landed properties I've never gone there to even see what is there three years ago three kings came together and God just opened a door and they gave me 18.7 hectares of a gold mine listen please hear me I'm not here to psych you there is a real grace that lifts men your man of God and his wife the apostles and the men of God here are testaments occultists know this they continue to sell and do everything but behind the scenes they know that it is what is on you that controls what is around you listen in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters hear me I came into your city and I am humbled by the gifts and the seeds that people have brought already it is not normal and it is not because I am Apostle Joshua Selman it is a grace on your life everybody who blesses you has relatives in need whatever makes him forget them and comes to you must be of God hear me everybody on earth is a giver there's no such thing as stingy people they just feel you are not worthy to receive their seeds they will refuse to give you 10,000 rands for something and yet bring 500,000 rands and tell someone else let it be an honor to give you there are they stingy greed is relative to the grace that it responds to because even Egyptians can give to the slaves there is something that comes upon you when Pharaoh gives to you you are really anointed we have to pray <sighs> hmm. South Africa the Lord wants to shift us to new levels hear me when God grants us access to these graces sometimes as men of God we mismanage these graces in pride the goal is that it be distributed to the body 
when he sends a word to Jacob is because he's looking at Israel many of you here are veterans in business many of you here are men and women of God music artists business people politicians and all kinds of great people and like I said in the morning I'm not here tonight to insult your pedigree I know that you have sustained intelligence and I respect your experience but can we in addition to that which we have received trust God tonight even in heaven he said come up hither there is still room for more praise the Lord and so I want to pray for you right now we are going to pray I taught you two things your mind and favor that success is not what you pursue is what you attract by who you are becoming and that everything you are looking for is also looking for you the assignment of conferences like this is to accelerate your meeting your house is in south africa your land is looking for you i'm here to help you find it the donkey was also looking for saul saul was looking it was not just saul that was missing or the donkey as far as the donkey was concerned saul too was missing listen listen your land has been asking when will you come your clients have been asking when will you come you think they are the ones who are delaying they are saying you are also delaying us your members are crying when will you call us my assignment tonight is to bring you together rise up on your feet shalatasi atakata lift your voice and begin to pray it's a new season truly what you are looking for is also looking for you the level that you seek is also seeking for you the anointing that you seek is also looking for you Someone begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. It's a new season. House of Treasures. South Africa. It's a new season. You're about to access influence in the place of exchange. This I know. Western shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us distant shorts and the islands will see your light as it rises on us distant shorts and the islands will see your light hallelujah one more prayer point you're going to cry to the God of heaven it's time to shift Lord the grace for favor let it rest upon me here and now please lift your voice and pray the name fade away let every other name fade away till there's only you let every other name fade away let every other name fade away 
Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know how we're going to do it. I thought I'll be able to pray for the sick this night. Because it's a final night. I know that our time is gone. I came with a heart to really shift you to a level supernatural dimension in the spirit come this fair man come yes I don't know what you do but you are about to step into a new dimension lift your voice I release that grace upon you you lift your hands you this one looking at me take that grace step into a new level in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost I want to pray for you now bring the lady that shouts now under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone bring her we're rounding up the grace for favor is resting on you I want to pray that grace. I don't know who you are, but in the name of Jesus, I shift you into new dimensions. Both of you, step into that level. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. That lady close to this man, lift your hands, my dear. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. And in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the Spirit. By the Spirit. New dimension. Now I'm seeing a grace that is coming on business people. I'm seeing the number 35. I stretch my hands. Where are they? Right now take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. I'm seeing the number 35. Let it fall on you right now. From the front to the back. The left to the right. Take that grace. I shift your business to a higher dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a man of God. You are a prophet. I may not call you out because of time. But I'm seeing a strong grace coming on you for the prophetic. Lord, where is that person? Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest now. Rest now. Bring them out. Rest now. Step into new dimensions. Our time is gone. Please bring them out quickly. I pray the grace for speed in the morning. And the Lord is asking me to pray it again. In the name of Jesus, South Africa, house of treasures, I stand by the God of heaven and I prophesy, take the grace for speed. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it. Help them, please. Receive it now. Speed. 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 No delay. A quick walk. Speed. Lift your hands. This man, take that grace. In the name of Jesus, I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus. Speed. Now listen. There is a grace that is coming on the women of South Africa. I want to pray. The grace that was on Deborah and the grace that was on Esther. There is an awakening. Women of power, visions. I'm seeing graces and mantles. Let it fall now. I stretch my hands. Deborah's arise. 
Esther's arise. I prophesy by the spirit of grace an awakening of power in the name of Jesus. Women of excellence, I empower you by the spirit. Rise in power, do exploits. Rise in power, do exploits. dimension my friend new level in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a gate in the realm of the spirit closed and the Lord is saying I should open it this is a gate representing the next level of someone's life right now in the name of Jesus I speak by the spirit let that gate be open now let that gate be open now in ministry be open now in business be open now career be open now Every man and woman of God in this place, it's time for our ministries to shift to a level. To shift to a level. I stand by the Spirit and I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, the fire and the grace that comes upon you, let it turn you into a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus, take that grace. In the name of Jesus, take that grace. Let it rest upon you. I stretch my hands. I don't know where the ministers are, but I speak to you all over this congregation new dimensions new levels of power spiritual illumination understanding and insight in the name of jesus everything that has died in your life i speak to you by the spirit of god talita kumi arise arise Arise, shika poka tosiata, embrace teka, dead businesses. Arise, dead dreams. Arise. Hallelujah. 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 Hear me. There are many of you. You would have been in certain dimensions now. It says, I desire to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. I would have been in government by now, but Satan hindered us. My business would have been global by now, but Satan hindered us. In the name of Jesus, everything that has refused to be global, I give it wings in the spirit rise beyond the limitation of your local environment rise beyond the limitation of your local environment be global be global be global in the name of jesus the bible says where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you I make you an eternal excellency. The joy of many generations. The grace for favor. That opens you up to the ministry of men. That opens you up to the loyalty of men. In the name of Jesus, I stand by the God of heaven and i declare take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now i pray for your loved ones who are not here wherever they are around the globe may the angel of his presence locate them and see to it that this grace rests upon them too hear me all of you who are in the music ministry 
in the name of Jesus I declare songs from the spirit rise to new levels in the spirit those of you who are in government I pray for you may this favor give you a ladder in this nation you will rise to the highest positions in the name of Jesus let me speak over your finances he said by this time tomorrow and another foolish man stood and said even if God will open the windows of heaven he said blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance South Africa I love you with all my heart and God loves you and it is his desire that in this season in the midst of what is happening around the nations he wants to isolate your nation and make a spectacle of wonder out of it a spectacle of wonder proof that God is alive proof of the excellency of knowing the Holy Spirit I speak over your finances I invoke upon you the mystery of divine supplies the raven that brought food for Elijah and fed him at Pucheri I pray experience prepared blessings experience prepared blessings in the name of Jesus hear me whatever you have lost some of you have lost money some of you have lost relationships some of you have lost influence I pray like the hair of Samson here at Excel 2020 receive restoration now son of man can these bones live again and he said only thou knowest then he said prophesy I stand by the God of heaven and I command everything that has left your life that should not have gone return back now opportunities return back now favor return back now the final prayer point tonight hear me listen he said my son give me your heart my son not give me your money not your tithe and offering listen what makes us different from those who are prosperous in the world is our passion and our allegiance that it will never change that even though I rise financially I continue to love him that my prosperity will not make me a fool listen to me what we are advocating is not just resources that come and produce some carnal people who are irresponsible and no 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 this is not what we are advocating please do not confuse what we are teaching here we are people who are disciplined and responsible with a kingdom sense and 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 a vision for national transformation we are not some careless people just doing some religious jamboree our relevance spans beyond the church walls are we together so it is important that I say this because what is on you now will work but let it not be that when you have built houses apostle and you have done everything you say my power and the might of my hand has given me this but thou shall remember that means you can forget thou shall remember I continue to tell the Lord every level of influence and grace you grant me that will not let the nation see you in my life don't take me there it is a sincere prayer please hear this the blessing of the Lord does not sponsor carelessness and childishness no we are disciplined people and if you are not adopt that philosophy let your life be disciplined enough to enter the palace of kings are we together 
don't allow money and prosperity and blessings just make us careless and sometimes we find ourselves doing a lot of things that justifies the accusations that are levied upon the body we are we are we are not people who are we are not a nuisance to society the concepts that we teach are not just some spiritual things for Christians. They are concepts that are universal in application because the same Lord is rich unto all. So we communicate concepts that can be adoptable by both believers and unbelievers to the end that all of us lift and glorify the name of the Lord. I'm saying this so that we do not mistake in all of these prophecies as an advocacy to promote lust. No your heart this is how I end tonight it is true that we have received something that is of substance and it is true that it will speak in our lives but remember that God must be Alpha Omega not Alpha alone don't start with him and throw him somewhere to enjoy the fame he must be Lord all the way the Lord of your wealth the Lord of your influence the Lord of your excellence that when men look at you and say, by what mystery do you command this result? You are not ashamed to point them like an usher and say, there is one greater than me. When the spotlight is on you and it looks so enjoyable to not let them see him, remember that in the midst of the lampstand, the attention should be one who was the son of man. The lampstands only attract you, but the object will point the nations to his majesty. Father, we bless you for tonight. May the name of the Lord be glorified. I did tell us to come with requests. Did you come with it? Okay, please, Pastor, can you lend me two minutes? I mean, man of God, please come. Please let me plead with you. All of you, just bring it quickly. Let's pray on it. We have to honor this. We're people of integrity. I apologize. Our time is gone. It is not my intention to keep us longer than necessary. But please, very quickly. Um, you don't have to do this by yourself. Just, just pass it to someone and we're going to pray. Pass it to an, everybody just pass it to the last person on your role. Please write what must live your life now and bring it here. We want to pray. Pass it to someone. Pass it to someone. Okay, this is, his, what's his? Oh, okay. Those with the seed, maybe, maybe you can pass an offering basket. Would that be fine? Or you can just bring everything together. I'll pray on it here. Please, your requests. Just bring them quickly. Want to pray on it? I apologize sincerely. I apologize sincerely. But we have to do this. And very quickly, you can write something down by faith. This is not some ritual. No. Everything we do, we do with understanding. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Exodus 14, 14. It says that the Egyptians you see today, you will see no more forever. Please quickly, let's, let's do this in one minute. You don't have to come with it yourself. You can just pass it to someone who can help you. Maybe that will be faster. While you're doing that, can we just pray in the spirit very quickly? Um, okay, I want to pray on them. Will I have the chance to? Okay, the request, yes. Just, just drop them on the altar very quickly. We want to pray. I have seen the wonder working power of God from this mystery. Many of you will return with testimonies that will amaze you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And for those of you who are following online, I know that you may not be able to write and send, but you can just type it if you want on any of the social media platforms connecting. And as we pray, the power of God will also reach you. Please clear the way for the, those coming. Let's make it very fast. Please clear the way. Protocol, please help us so that we'll make it fast. I'm seeing a woman who has been trusting God for the foot of the womb. This is, I don't know who that is. You're wearing black. Trusting God for the foot of the womb. It's time. No, you're also stand. Okay, no problem. You're here. We have to pray. Hmm. You believe in Jesus? You believe you will return back with your children? Do you believe that? 
I don't care what the medical report is. How shall these things be seen that I know not a man? God just wants to give this miracle. My dear, look at me. Please stand. Is your husband here? We don't have the time. Don't worry. It's okay. I want just, just you. I, I, I'll pray for the rest, but just this lady. Where is her husband? Husband, where are you? Is he here? How are you, sir? God bless you. Do you believe that God will turn your story around? Hold your hands, both of you. Jesus. The power of God never, never ceases to marvel me. That grace is coming on both of you now. I'm seeing that gate opening. I release that grace. Go and return with your children. Right now. It's over. I pray for all of you. We're just, we're just trying to buy time while you're dropping the request. But I stand in the name of Jesus and I pray for all of you trusting God for the foot of the womb. Something is leaving you now. I'm seeing a spirit that is responsible for this delay. Go now. Out now. In the name of Jesus. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him, the Bible says, and given him a name. My dear, look at me. Be free now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. Be loosed in the name of Jesus. For you, my dear, let it, be, let it be, be free now. In the name of Jesus. Every one of you, I stretch my hands towards you. And I pray by the Spirit of God. Be free now. The anointing of the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, like Eli spoke to Anna. According to the time of life, return with your children. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Look at me. I pray that you will not have to go through surgery. In the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God. Let it go now. In the name of Jesus. Never to return to you. I bless you all. In the name of Jesus. Go back and return with your testimonies. In Jesus name I pray. Now very quickly please. Stretch your hands towards the altar. We want to pray over this request. I'm standing in faith with the apostle over this house and i just want to believe with you father in the name of jesus christ i bow to you the god of all flesh i lay my hands upon these requests in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon these requests in the name of jesus as i'm praying some of you instantly you are going to be receiving answers. I lay my hands upon these requests. Hmm, something is happening in this place. I lay my hands upon these requests. Joining faith with the angel over this house. I lay my hands upon these requests. In the name of Jesus, even the son of the living God. I declare to you by the Spirit of God that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today by the power of the Holy Ghost you will see them no more forever. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salaskade bashkana kata branda kate kapos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto pray kate kene kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.